Oil prices are influenced by a variety of factors, particularly decisions about output made by producers, like the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries OPEC. Independent petroleum producing countries, and private oil producing firms. Like any product, the laws of supply and demand, influence prices. Natural disasters, that could potentially disrupt production, and political unrest in oil producing countries, all impact pricing. Production costs influence prices, along with storage capacity. Although less impactful, the direction of interest rates, can also influence the price of petroleum products. Oil is a commodity, and as such, it tends to see larger fluctuations in price than more stable investments, such as stocks and bonds. There are several factors that influence oil prices, a few of which we will discuss in today's video. OPEC, or the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, is the main influencer of fluctuations in oil prices. OPEC is a group, that as of 2021, is made up of 13 countries. According to 2018 statistics, OPEC controls almost 80% of the world's supply of oil reserves. This group sets production levels to meet global demand, and can influence the price of oil and gas by increasing or decreasing production. Before 2014, the OPEC vowed to keep the price of oil above $100 a barrel, for the foreseeable future. But midway, the price of oil began to tumble. It fell from a peak of above $100 a barrel to below $50 a barrel. OPEC was the major cause of cheap oil in that instance, as it refused to cut oil production leading to the fall in global oil prices. The law of supply and demand is a basic rule in oil economics, and a major factor when it comes to price. Demand refers to the amount of a product consumers want, and are willing to pay for. Supply refers to how much of a product is available. The relationship between supply and demand affects all commodity prices, including oil. When the supply of a product increases, the price goes down. When the price goes down, the demand goes up because consumers want to pay a lower price. And this is how High supply and low demand, gets the overall price of petroleum products low. Similarly, when there is too much demand for a product, the supply will run low. When there is not enough of this product to meet the demand, prices increase. When prices increase, the demand eventually decreases, because people do not want to pay high prices for the product. Prices will fall once demand goes down. And this is how, low supply and high demand, results to high global oil prices. When an equilibrium is reached, the amount of available supplies, equals the demand. For example, if a balance is reached between the supply and demand of oil, customers can expect a stable global oil prices. Natural disasters or other factors, that can cause oil prices to fluctuate. For example, when Hurricane Katrina, struck the southern U.S. in 2005, it impacted almost 20% of the U.S. oil supply. This then led to the price of per barrel of oil, to rise by $13. And again in May 2011, flooding of the Mississippi River, also led to oil price fluctuations. The COVID-19 pandemic is another example of a natural disaster. But, 
Unlike other natural disasters, that raised the price of oil by creating a supply shock, the COVID-19 disaster, created a demand shock. Many flights, both international and domestic, were cancelled, on orders of governments to close borders. As a result, gasoline consumption dropped. Consequently, oil refinery companies, didn't want to take oil, that they couldn't process for sale, and oil reserves began to pile up at storage facilities. In response to the crisis, major oil producers, sidelined production. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through the air. From a global perspective, political instability in the Middle East causes oil prices to fluctuate, as the region accounts for the major share of the worldwide oil supply. For example, in July 2008, the price of a barrel of oil reached $128, due to the unrest and consumer fear about the wars in both Afghanistan and Iraq. Production costs can cause oil prices to rise, or fall as well. While oil in the Middle East, is relatively cheap to extract, oil in Canada is more costly. Once the supply of cheap oil is exhausted, global oil prices will rise, as the only remaining oil is difficult to extract. U.S. production, also directly affects the price of oil. With so much oversupply in the industry, a decline in production, decreases overall supply, and increases prices. More importantly, due to less demand due to COVID-19 pandemic, the rate at which, crude oil has filled up reserves, prompted major oil companies and oil producing governments, to slash production. In this unprecedented environment, the only winners are, companies who store oil, including shipping companies with tankers, who have been able, to raise prices for oil storage. While views are mixed, the reality is that, oil prices and interest rates, have some correlation between their movements. However, they are not tightly correlated. In truth, many factors affect the direction of both interest rates and oil prices. Sometimes those factors are related, sometimes they affect each other, and sometimes there's no right or reason to what happens. One of the basic theories stipulates that increasing interest rates raise consumers and manufacturers' costs, which reduces the amount of time and money people spend driving. Fewer people on the road, translates to less demand for oil, which can cause oil prices to drop. In this instance, we'd call this, an inverse correlation. By this same theory, when interest rates drop, consumers and companies, are able to borrow and spend money more freely, which drives up demand for oil. The greater the usage of oil, the more consumers raise the price of oil. Another economic theory proposes that, rising or high interest rates, help strengthen the dollar against other countries' currencies. When the dollar is strong, oil companies doing transactions in dollar, can buy more oil with every US dollar spent. Ultimately passing the savings on to consumers. Likewise, when the value of the dollar is low against foreign currencies, the relative strength of US dollars means, buying less oil than before. This, of course, can contribute to oil becoming costlier. <laughs>